Let's translate Leviticus 20 verses 7 and 8. Vahith Kadish Them, Vahiyathem, Kadoshim, Kiani, Adonai Elohem. Ush Martem Eth Chukothai, Vaasithem, Otham, Ani Adonai, Mekadishchem. And you will sanctify yourself, and you will be holy as I, the Lord, your God, your God. And you will keep my statutes, and you will do them. I, the Lord, sanctify you. So we have a series of Vav consecutives. You can see them here. Here's a Vav with a Hith Pael. Perfect. Then we have a Vav with a, with a Cal Perfect. And we have another Vav, this one with a Cal Perfect, and another Vav with a Cal Perfect. We also have a participle down here. We'll get to that later. These Vav consecutives are either linked to 20 verse 3 or to 20 verse 6. But either way, th the reason why these are there is because of the linkage from earlier in the chapter. They're Cal perfect. Well, for the most part, they're Cal perfect. They're all perfect. Perfect conjugation perfect conjugation, perfect conjugation, perfect conjugation. But because of the Vav consecutive, we're going to invert that, except that we're not. We're not going to invert it. These are essentially commands. They're soft commands. They may not be in the imperative conjugation, but imperfect can be a soft command, a volitional command, instruction. And that is what we have here. God is instructing them, instructing them to sanctify themselves, instructing them to be holy, instructing them to keep watch, that is to observe and to do his statutes, his divine ordinances. And that's why these are all Vav consecutive in the perfect conjugation. Now, notice we have Kadash, Kadash. We have another Kadash down here. Something's going on with Kadash. What is Kadash? The root has the idea of purity, being sanctified, consecrated, being holy. But holy uh, is the idea of being separate. It's not simply just being pure. And so in the first instance, we have the Hithpael. Hithpael in this instance bears the force of, of being reciprocal. So sanctify yourselves, make yourselves holy. Then the next instance, this is a noun, and so it's just simply holy or singled out. You will be holy or singled out. The next instance is a PL participle. So it has the pronominal suffix for the second person masculine plural, which makes sense because the verbs are all second person, masculine, plural. But this is a participle, and it's attaching to ani, ani adonai. So what we have is a substantive use of the participle. I, the Lord, the one who sanctifies you. So what's interesting is the Lord is the one who does the sanctifying. 
But earlier, from verse 7, at the start, it says, sanctify yourselves. Which is it? Who's doing the sanctifying? Is it God? Is it the people of Israel? It's really both. Notice that in verse 7, it says, Be holy for he, I, the Lord, your God. This is probably better translated because I am holy. Because I am holy holy so be holy for i am holy i the lord your god so you can translate this smoothly be holy for i the lord your god am holy this is not modal in the sense of key being a translated like or as this is not modal they're not to be like the lord instead they're to be holy because the lord is present among them and where the where the spirit of the lord is the ground they are on is holy this is reminiscent of moses at the burning bush he had to take his sandals off. Why? Because the ground he was standing on was holy. Why? Because the Lord was there physically. And so with the Lord being present among the people of Israel, they needed to be holy. They needed to set themselves apart. And so by God being present among them, by virtue of that alone, that sanctified them that set them apart from all the other nations in the world. And so they needed to live like it. Think about Moses in the burning bush. The ground he was standing on was holy. The moment he knew that, he needed to do something about it. And he needed to obey God's instruction. Take off your sandals. That's the same thing happening here. Israel is in God's presence. Therefore, the ground they are standing on is holy. Therefore, they must respond and obey God's instruction. And that is to sanctify themselves. That is to be holy. And that's what Leviticus is all about. Setting themselves apart from the rest of the world, from the nations around them. Now, you can look at the immediate context of verse 6. It's about mediums, wizards, and all that stuff. In the greater context of chapter 20 and Moloch worship. But the, the resounding theme here is that God is present among them, and therefore, they must be holy because God is holy. So how do we translate Leviticus 20, verse 7 through 8? Make yourselves be holy and be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. And observe my statutes and do them. I am the Lord who makes you holy. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Check out the Hebrew and Greek lectures to brush up on your biblical languages. And we'll see you next time.